Today we're going to start the last part of this course, antennas. As usual, I'll start this section by introducing a design challenge. My best friend in high school was named Shayna. Her family lived up the street from mine. We ran cross country and track together, took some of the same high school classes, and celebrated high school graduation together. She later attended my college graduation, and after she graduated from the Naval Academy, I was a bridesmaid at her wedding. Over the years since, we lived in different states, and sometimes different countries, and we didn't always stay in close contact with each other while raising our families. But thanks to social media, we were able to stay connected. However, around the year 2014, I learned that Shayna was undergoing chemotherapy for a tumor they had found in her colon. Over the next several years, she had surgery to remove cancerous growths in her colon, went through more chemotherapy, and then another surgery to remove cancer from her lungs as the cancer spread. More and more surgeries and more and more treatments. And it took her a long time to recover from each of these surgeries. I always assumed I would see Shayna again someday, but it became clear to me in the fall of 2019 that if I was going to see her in person again, I needed to visit her as soon as possible. So in October of 2019, after she finished participating in a clinical trial at the National Institute of Health, which she had decided would be her last chance at finding an effective treatment, I flew with my husband and two children to Virginia so that we could visit her and her family. Even though we knew statistically that Shayna had little chance of surviving, it still came as a shock to me when she passed away in December of 2019. I imagine many of you know someone or have had a family member with cancer, and they probably also had to go through various treatments and traditional surgeries, which can be very hard to recover from. Your challenge for the first part of the antennas section of this course is to design a tool or treatment that doctors can use to destroy or, or remove malignant tumors in a person's body. For the best possible patient outcome, we want the tool to be minimally invasive. This will help the patient recover more rapidly. We also want the treatment to cause minimal damage to any surrounding healthy tissues or organs. In other words, we want to isolate the treatment to the tumor itself. And lastly, we do not want the treatment itself to carry any risk of causing cancer to the patient. Take out your in-class project notebooks and spend a few minutes writing out what the problem is and how you would solve it knowing what you know today about electromagnetic waves.